So today I have the Ringburst 480 Pro. This is the Pro version, of course, of their ring light. As of the time of this recording, this is, it's not a prototype, uh, but it's a very early production model. Um, I spoke to the guys at Digital Juice, and I, my understanding is uh, the battery charger that comes with this, uh, it will be replaced, so I'm not really gonna focus on that, but wanted to slice this open and kind of get my first impressions um, you know, on camera. You know, these products that I get from Digital Juice are well before they are released to the public, so uh, I can't do any unboxing or any thoughts on it. I can't even really get behind the scenes pictures because uh, typically they are weeks, but usually months away from being released. But I figure I will record this now, and then once it's released to the public, I'll put the video out. Probably nothing else, nope. All right, case. Yeah, the case is smaller, and this feels small. Look, it feels cushy. Oh, they used foam on this. Okay, cool, nice. Because this was shipped to me literally like this. So the box that this thing comes in, period, there was no extra padding or anything like that, so I figured either the case just comes in is pretty robust and or the product itself is robust. I've got, like, cardboard stuff all over me. All right, cracking this open for the first time. Ah, okay. Wow, this is slick. Yeah, so uh, customers were saying, you know, it's it's a great light, but if it only it had battery power, so I can use this thing remotely. And the guys were listening and delivered. Oh, I like this. Looks uh, very space age. Of course, keeps the to keep the the weight down. This is plastic. Now, unlike the regular ring burst, if you want to change the color temperature, you take off the plastic and then you replace it with uh, the other color. You don't have to do that here. It's all built in, so you just basically tell it, okay, I want a different color temperature, and you go ahead and you make the change. All right, so let's put this aside for a second. Wait a minute, what is that? Oh, look at that. At the bottom here, we've got. Um, a thread for a mount or something like that. You can kind of screw right here. And yeah, here, there's one too. So this is, oh, actually it's on both sides. So we've got one here and we've got one on the top. All right, this allows you to add a couple other things here. I like that. Um, I love the attention to detail on these things. Uh, full disclosure, by the way, I do work for Digital Juice. I, I do work with them. I do these uh, overview videos, you may have seen them. If you haven't, uh, check it out in the description below. I'm not being compensated to make this video. I am compensated to make those videos, but not this one, uh, which one to put that out there, full disclosure. Um, but I love the attention to detail on things like this. So with these extra shoes, the cold shoes right here, um, if you're shooting on like, let, let's say a smartphone and you have it mounted here, uh, you could you know put, so it's a little bit closer to the thing you could have, Another camera here in case uh, you want something very wide, maybe like a GoPro here and a smartphone here with a, you know, like a, a tighter zoom on it or something. And up here you can put, um, you know, a small shotgun mic, something like that. So you have multiple mounting options. Cool. This doesn't come with it. This, you know, cold shoe is just for my, my kit. All right, so let's not look at the dual charger here because I don't know what will be coming with it. That's the cable for the dual charger. Okay, so this is what we'd use to plug into. Oh, whoa, what's this? Oh, okay, cool. Whoa, this is heavy duty. It's heavy. This thing weighs as much as this does. Actually, it may weigh more than that does. Whoa, yeah, no wonder why it's so heavy, because, yeah, it really holds it. That's pretty impressive. Actually, and this thing right here, it gives you multiple options for mounting. Cool, I dig it. Off the top of my head, I'm not sure how I would mount it, but it's nice to have that option because when you're in the field, you're shooting something and you realize, oh man, if I can only mount it this way, it would save my life. Uh, what else is here? Oh, it comes with, it does come with a really nice ball head. I don't even know what it comes with. The instruction manual has not yet been finalized by the time I'm getting this, so I had no idea. I was just told, hey, we're sending you this. Be on the lookout. All right, this is one of the more precise ball heads I've used. That's just, you know, just a little ball head here. Uh, very heavy duty. 
course, we we'll slap it on here. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. All right. So they actually give you, this is nice. They give you uh, a cell phone holder here. I've got an iPhone 7 Plus with an OtterBox case on it. Let's see what this thing can do, if it can hold something that fat. Of course, this is like the biggest smartphone you can get with a fat case on it. All right, so I'm pushing the limits of what it can do. So without the case, no problem, or with the thinner case, no problem. And of course, a smaller phone, uh, it can totally do that. But that's cool that that's got that. So certainly this is geared towards people that are maybe shooting on smartphones. Nice. All right, cool. So there's that. Resume. This is the battery. You can tell it's a prototype model. <laughs> somebody got in the box already and tore it. Somebody at the, the place. All right, so all right, mid-size Sony NPF series style battery. Ah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, again, a, a Sony NPF style battery. It's not a genuine Sony, of course. It doesn't need to be. We're not powering a camera. It's just to give raw electricity to this. Of course, I would get genuine Sony batteries if I'm using it for a camera, but for a light, the non-genuine batteries I think are fine. That's their snug. All right, so this thing is, geez, this thing was engineered down to the millimeter. So pretty tight, you can get your fingers in, you can you know snap it in and out, but it's not bigger than it needs to be. All right, no juice. Um, so by the time this comes out, my overview video that I have not yet even begun to write uh, will be out. I will link that. Uh, that'll be in the card up here and I will link that in the description below so you can check it out the official product video put together for this. Um, but so there's a rocker switch here that switches between um, whether it's battery power or AC power. I'm not sure which side goes to which so I'll have to plug that in and play with it. Now there is also a, uh, a knob here. That is the one knob that we have on here. Um, I was told that this adjusts not only the brightness, but also the color temperature. So obviously up and down is, you know, up and down brightness, up and down color temperature, but to switch between the two, yeah, there you go, you press it. Nice tactical feel to it. So, and you can hear it's audible. You know what, let me, let's plug this in and fire it up. Pro tip here, when you have a lot of these, boxes, they kind of add up, especially when they're on the floor, you're on a shoot, you're like which one goes to which. I usually throw a little bit of gaffer's tape on here and I write on it what light it's for or what device or monitor. Um, so that helps keep me organized. Okay, so if you flip the switch to the right, that is battery power. These batteries are totally dead right now. And flip it to the left and then you've got the light. Now I have this daylight temperature, you know, Balance right now, I've got daylight color uh, lights in here. What are we at? We're at 100%. Now we're at about 60. Bring it down to, actually, let me kill these other lights. A little bit more obvious. I'm at 6% right now. Zero. Five. Okay, so it, it it kills it at five. So there's nothing between zero and five percent. But right now that's five. I mean that's like no illumination. But when you have to really dial it in, that could be perfect. Bring it up to a hundred. Oh, it's very fine controls too. Like, yep, each click, like when you you, you spin it, and there's a very tactile. Um, ooh, now I'm blind. Um, you can feel it click to the next percentage. So if you want it at 67%, it's very easy to do that with this switch. And when you're not using it, the little display on the back goes out. Otherwise, it will fire back up. All right, let's try the color temperature change. Obviously, this is daylight. Yep, and now the display on the back has changed. It says 5,600 degrees. Let's bring it down. Let's bring it down aggressively. Thirty-two hundred degrees. All right, so yep, goes between thirty-two hundred, which is the minimum, to fifty-six hundred Kelvin, which is the maximum. That's daylight temperature. Knowing these guys at Digital Juice and, and seeing this, I'd assume this has a very high CRI rating as well. Um, but yeah, it feels strong enough for what I need it for. 
Um, I love the look of this thing. On the back too, looks like a spaceship or some kind of futuristic thing. The build quality is a good balance between it's, it's plastic, it's light, so it's easy to carry around, um, but it's robust enough, it feels good in your hands. So I feel like, like if I do this, I'm not gonna like snap it in half. And trust me, I, I, if I wasn't confident I wouldn't break it, um, you know, I wouldn't do that. Uh, so, cause this is my, my one and only, I don't know if there is another one currently in existence that they could send me <laughs> to do these videos. All right, let me, let me put the light back on. That's everything that's in the case here. It was unexpected. I, I didn't expect to get these other little doodads here. Um, I don't know if the other one came with, the other one may have come with a ball head. I don't remember. That was quite a while since I did that video, but definitely didn't come with a cell phone holder. This is a nice touch. So it's, it's really a complete set. I mean, you could do anything straight out of the case with this, um, including, you know, got the little, little arm here, the little neck uh, to go on a C-stand or whatever for very precise control. It, it doesn't hurt to have that because then, you know, when you're on a shoot or whatever, oh, nice and easy to take that out. Overall, first impressions, I'm impressed. Um, I have a few of the ring bursts here in the studio. This obviously will replace those. Not sure on the price point at this point because it hasn't come out yet as of me recording. Uh, I'll put the price here. This is the normal price. Every once in a while, it will go on sale again. If you're not in a rush to get it, um, hang out for those sales. Otherwise, uh, this is a really, really solid light. This would be a, a great addition for anybody um, because it is so easy to use. You don't have to pop off the diffusion filters and put on a new one. Obviously, this will come at a higher cost, but for me, I love having that ability. It's just a lot easier to switch it out. And also the battery, of course, I mean, that, that's the game changer here, uh, having those batteries you can plug in here and be able to be remote. So the price difference between the Ring Burst and the Ring Burst Pro is here. So thanks very much for tuning in, guys. This is my first unboxing, maybe the first of many. I don't know. I kind of, I don't know. I kind of enjoyed that. Usually when I'm doing this, it's, it's I'm, I'm doing it right here anyway, and kind of seeing it for the first time and seeing how things work. Um, so I just figured to set up a camera and kind of walk you through my process of getting one of these early production models. That's it. I will see you guys around.